and reteach mankind the secrets of civilization. Every time this thing comes, it's shaya boom, spoiler back to Stone Age. I want to right now, everything of ours is electrical. If we get wiped out, what will remain? It's the clay tablets from the Sumerian age and the Egyptian. <laughs> so, Inzalo Yelanga represents that for us. It is the place where we, are, we were reborn. All the classic revolution albums now available on Spotify, Apple Music, and on all digital music stores. I'm happy because every time I get into these spiritual conversations, I get to learn. And for me, I kind of feel I use my, other people call it celebrity, or let me say my personality or popularity to sort of amplify different voices. I'm an entrepreneur, but our platform obviously focuses on lifestyle, culture, music, entertainment, and the most importantly, uh, politics and Politics aside, once in a while here and there we'll have um, some politicians coming to share. And we will be having more political leaders coming on the platform since we are towards the elections in South Africa. The 2024 elections will be happening in May, so um, don't be surprised when you see a lot of political leaders come join us on the platform. But for me, what fascinates me is when I bring spiritual leaders with um, a lot of the knowledge. Because there's just been this awakening that's been happening. And what I love with our social media platforms, especially TikTok, it has decentralized information. It has given people an opportunity to um, create platforms and share as much info as possible. And one person that I bumped into, I think it was during the lockdown, if I'm not mistaken, and I started getting familiar with his content, with his teachings, is the guest that I have here today. And I finally, I'm excited that he made his way to Johannesburg to sit down with us because he doesn't live in Johannesburg. So people like him, and I'm going to ask him as well, like, why don't you want, why don't you guys live like in the cities? Uh, it's either Emma in their farms or just away from the cities. I don't know if it's a conscious decision, but I'm excited finally. I think maybe come closer and Is be it? comfortable. Just oh, I know. Just closer oh, to like the mic. Is it fine? Um, all right. No? Just okay, okay, okay. Just okay, okay, okay. 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 Swanga for the opportunity. I bumped into your videos on TikTok. Any um, intention that you had in joining TikTok? And um, yeah, tell me about your introduction into this social media space. Uh, let's start it as according to the dictates of the, the school of the red and blue. I will get you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So me arriving on TikTok, um, Sipushwa, Abifundis. I come from a long line of Abifundis. Abandu got to be petty evangel. Abandu got to be shumayele. Abandu bakukuge. Abandu bashiz tuaba. So, uli milam li kamuga lapo. Koto age because, jongo bushiz lapo na minklizila. Siba nizbongo ezi ufo masizalo. So, lezi ge zinyi bongo. Kwa kamuga ge the mystics. The occultists, what come over a band who are interested with the Ganyes, the Ikigi, a band to Mshaba Abawazi from the outside looking at it in. And then Kwase was Zolage, Um Shumayi, the way lang. Now, as a kid growing up near Kumbula, even after matric, weighing my options is Mutomia, Mia Kumbula, I actually thought about going into ministry, but something wasn't, you know, something wasn't. Uh, 
I was still being called by the time into aviation. Yeah, <laughs> So uh, we went into aviation and uh, I got a chance to actually travel, leave SA. I think that is when the other aspects now started coming through. You go okay, daughter. There's the mystics and everyone else who wants to come through and say, Manjisila. And so I found myself at a dilemma again now. We are at the morning of the Aquarian Age. So we heading into the Aquarian Age. We are in the Aquarian Age. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to we need to strip down this concept and this philosophy. We need to strip down ilozi because manje ganklizi with an internal conflict. So I was like, let's strip down this concept. But it has been in total. God is light. And once I figure, you know, what figure to to figure God is light. So if you have to the creative principle kankulunkulu ukesi negative electricity and positive electricity. Mazi danza aga sezi shangane. Zisipe ugukanya. And that is now became abe shumayili belanga. We are preachers of ugukanya, preachers of the light. It is still abe fundisi ba malangini, abe shumayili belanga, who have now come back. The cloak sebe shinchile. The cloak is manj. The cloak of, we are no longer in the age of believing and it's, we are now in the age of knowing. And for us to know, we are no longer looking at Ujesu, the historical man, but we are looking at Ujesu in the aspect of the macrocosm and the microcosm. Sipege, ubunkulunkulu, ez ugukanya. Sibuda, we fought enough. hey, the Jews were this color. Ujesu was black. Ujesu was. I came up from those, uh, from those ranks. But because I had always had an interest in the stars, so like Engele, my occultist and the mystics in Hambanas, they would always say, "Go on further, go on further." So this is happening to me. Oh, like I said, um, I'm actually from Peter Maritzburg. I think I'm all over the place, but anyway, wasn't <laughs> <laughs> sure. I grew up in Peter Maritzburg under a very staunch Christian family. We are one so to find myself now at a place where I can say, no, definitely, I'm still umshumayeli, but manje se sambulili. Si azalwa kuma families etu, ma uzalwa, uzalwa, utwele ngumawa, kumawa wakia ngunkulu ngunkulu. Si vula meltu, si fige nyame, numawa kwa kibambe And then si fige la, we na umawa kwa kumele akitetele, Wazi unkulu unkulu lo ongeko enyamini. But the one unjani, ongale wimfisha galo. So that is where now, mangi figa gila panga sanga toke hai, unkulu unkulu ugu kanya. And then that is where the lessons now broke down. I hope I'm making sense. Njoba bengisho ngiti, you don't stay in the cities. Yeah. Is that by choice or... um? Are you somebody who is forced to be away from the cities? Is it a um, conscious decision? I would like to think it first, if it initially it came as a Nkule, as an Adventist, Seventh day Adventist, listening to the likes of Uba, Uba Ampongo, <laughs> you know? So, e message, Yebu Sabata, the foundation is, it's based on your revelation, man. It says, get out, get out of her, my people. We are born. Get out of her, as in get out of the Sodom and Gomorrah or the Babylon. Move on over to the mountains. Because when the cataclysms come to the cities, make sure 
you are outside. So what started out as that, as Ngikula and uh, coming to terms with what I am and who I have to be in society in order for me to be able to learn certain things isn't, I mean, you know, away from society. I'm a hermit. <coughs> I'm a hermit through and through. So that is how the build-up happened. That was the initial the initial message. And then I'm actually realizing that no, very bit melubilan. Because that you must always be next to as um priest the power to band. we are creating a relationship and yeah. I'm glad it was Vahashel and I'm Sanjay. Mm. You came to Johannesburg to do other things, but we felt to go to while you are here. Mm. Let's um do a nice introduction and at least see seek introduce as one of the friends of the show moving forward. And Minangi mm. ni student and um Likewise. I always want to learn from different <coughs> people. Namanjin Jangaz Luto. And all these different guests that get to visit us. Maybe just for the sake of today as an introductory um, episode, mm -hmm. what would you like for us to, let me not necessarily say teach, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't want to put you in a position where you're a bit, um, maybe under pressure, with man, I must teach. <laughs> but I mean, what would you like for us to think for this first episode or this introductory mm -hmm. episode to focus on as far as what's been going on out there is concerned and for our, our audience of young people out there, what would you like for us to focus on today? Um, we can start with um, the fact that uh, Sipuma from the winter solstice, <coughs> which means our sun has been reborn. And as people who are living in the age of awareness, the age of awakening, uh, by the way, this thing that is happening to Abandaba Myama, it's not just us, it is the time that we are in. Um, I find it imperative that we are able to get to understand which is a gubi and uh, what did the ancients mean when they would say, for example, beginning out of the winter solstice. Um, Wami right now is it does not matter whether you are Muslim, Christian, African spirituality. Atheist, it doesn't matter which of seven is which of those are religions. Sonke Silandela, the light. Ilanga. Hence, Shumaeli, Belanga. Another name I go by is Unga, Ilanga. Sonke Silandela, Lelilang. So, in highlighting that, um, Ilesin Esisugangayo right now, Sikalang Wuti. Sazu guti ene ilanga lipuma nin from the winter solstice. And what does it mean for us as a band to abalande la ilanga? Ya kumbula maskula singa mash Christian says, si la la na ye, si vuka na ye, si vuka na ye ke manje. Si apagama, si konde e kaya la bangwe le bupi, e Jerusalem. E Jerusalem marking the summer solstice. So this is a journey that each and every one of us takes, not just physically through with Ilanga, but we also take it spiritually as represented as the journey of Ukukanya. From the root chakra, which is, or which we can liken to the winter solstice, Bisiya Pagam. Ibuele Kaya is Zuluin, which is the head, the heaven, the Hivda place. So that is the message. Now I understand what uh, Sibaningi that we are now saying, guys, in Lela, Ilapaya. And Wankumunt Ufunu Wutene, in Leli Lana Kotwa, there is not an, enough of us who are saying, in Lela Iwan Bafitu. Uguti, we express a ganja and Leo and Lela Leo. And your being. Ni comfortable ganga ganan. Uhamba nga leon len. Ya bon sing as totally now where we are trying to impose is in lela ze to gwabantu. Hence si titina si fundisa The example is ilanga. If you want to call ilanga 
Zeus, you want to call it Mvelingangi, you want to call it, that one is up to you. What are the lessons? Ezila, the lessons is by Pelini, the lessons that are in the writings of the East, the writings of the North. Bonke Balandela, Balandela Umalangin, which is the sun. Mm. In, in, excuse me, you're talking about the birth of the sun, and mm. that's a very common name nowadays. We hear it quite a lot, mm. and some of us do visit um, in Zaloelanga. For me, it was actually my first time last year. In, in Zaloelanga. In, in Zaloelanga, as a place, um, legend teaches us that it is where the sun is reborn, the sun being, it is where the current version of the humanity, but hila akamuge kona. That is what in Zaloelanga is for us. I don't know if you get me. Mm. Yeah. No, your turn to go to it even further. I mean, I take, take me as a, a 10 year old, yeah, who knows nothing. Um, because well, I don't, I'm just a student of life. I'm going in up. I'm going in out in England. And in a tender foot, your tender foot no go to petty by Bella Colab in the above my children, yes, by the late great to Coco Credo Motor. I'm going to call about. Lala ngutolo koko. Yebo. Siya bonga nge mfundiso, siya bonga ngu spalili ngwati. Yes, yes. Siya bonga nga yon ki mila yezo oi palile, no ikulu mile guma videos. Na guma interviews, hain zaga la tuwele gu internet. If there's one thing that you've done for us, Baba, ukshera information on camera, no gutu palili ngwati. Msebe nzo mkulu ka kulu, owe nzile, Baba. Gu lapes kona, lapes kona na mshanji kunge ngayako. Ute kubege le pambili nje, ngale mfundiso. Mm. And uh, I just had to honor Okoko Credo Mota because yes. whoever he is, he is in this room. Yes, yes. As I can see, you've got his yes. book. And I can see good it's you've had it for many years. Yeah, yeah, I, know. Good, yeah. I know. It might be. 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 So, good in Dabala. I'm trying to read Kalalana because sometimes I'm going to be too much of Kalindaba, also Kuluma, Gizin to Zanga Pandle, Bayakum. People jump. So in the book here, um, we find the story of Odu and Amarava. Now, to understand in Zaloyelanga, Odu and Amarava find themselves now a, in a boat that looks like a fish. Nkunungulu, in the form of uh, the feminine spirit, Unina Vanuma, he gives them the, the instruction get on this boat and you guys will go and start restart humanity. So now you will find, um, it's, you will not find uh, this contextualized a lot in the writings that lie Africa or I'm yet to come across it. Where it became very clear was uh, the teachings of uh, the East where they will talk about uh, the yugas. Bekaza uguti ene umshaba it goes through a phase you just like us, it goes through that. It goes, but it is the, but it goes through a creation phase, and then it goes through a phase where he has bulal, or it's self imploding, or self collapsing. Jungo born and with the um, the global warming and things like that. So Umshaba does that. Like in Kositin, it does this, and then Upindubui. So every time Maubui al Umshaba. Kubanama cataclysms ends agalayo. And one of those cataclysms, it becomes a, a flooding. Jango Basbon and Jutane Ama Poles. I am melt, I am melt. Was it last year or the, the other year? In Pakistan, they lost a landmass the size of a Britain. Sure. <laughs> so, Yakala already in the King, 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 King. The waters are coming. Intervene with my daughter, but I get to call her and get so this is happening because of it. This is where now I need a report. Um, Shabawe to every 12,000 years, sing our band because cooler my dates, because the ancients, <coughs> the Oanes or as Babu Muta would put it, Abo Wane, the dates they would use as teachings. So every about 12,000 years, in 
i North Pole, the celestial North Pole, you must have it. Mount Olympus, Mount Zion, that is our North Pole. He has shifted. Now you can imagine in magnetic pole what's also involved there is the sea currents, the winds, you understand? The flows that are within umshabangapagati, the lava and things like that. So you can imagine when a, a, a pole shift happens, the destruction, what it means destruction wise on our planet. So the destruction that always comes time and time again, even though a pipeline it is now allegorized and told the way it is told, it's a this way, guy. This is this thing is a given in nature. We change our pole star. Right now we are sitting at Polaris, but there was a time when the pole star was in Draco. That is why you will find in a lot of our teachings, so in our sky, it's probably the biggest constellation that we have, Udraiko. So at some point in North Pole, it's a big lab. Now the ancients, so you will find a lot of tales where Bazoti, those who are in the know, when they've measured Babonu, which, okay, it's coming, they get off planet. Abanya, they find ways to make sure that you su you survive whatever that is coming and then when it's time to rebuild they will come to lizards in their work like in zalo yilang that is where now humanity will be what will be retaught if there were survivors bazokwehla eh akade benyukile bebalekela and it has its card lento babaleke mabebuya if they are survivors, Babu Yagasebe Abakul, or as the Sumerians put it, the Abkalu, and reteach mankind the secrets of civilization. Every time this thing comes, it's Shaya Books, Buela back to Stone Age. I want to right now, everything of ours is electrical. If we get wiped out, what will remain? It's the clay tablets from the Sumerian age and the Egyptian. <laughs> So, in Zaloyelanga represents that for us. It is the place where we are. We were reborn. Thanks, buddy. In Zaloyelanga is a place where we were reborn. Where we, yes, I say reborn because it is it is cyclic. It is not just a, an event that happened once. Uh -uh. Or oh, do an Amarava or you will say Adam and Eve. It's a cyclic. It's a cyclic thing that plays out on the earth. <clears throat> the teachings of the East by Biza, Ikalpa. Bazotene, Ikalpa, that is the entire age of Umshaba from the time. I don't want to get too technical in terms of the, um, the astronomy. From the time Umshaba Ufoma, when Zindilinga Leana and get to a state where it can now house life and then get to a state where it can no longer house life and then Kalifut is believed to that point again where it's again it's going to start. Babies are the Kalpa and then the creation, but it is the, the, the day of Brahma and then the or and the night, but to Brahma Selel or Brahma Sevugil. Buzz, buzz contextualize. Buzz, you could say, no, okay, no. I'm a cycle that's a hamba ganj. In the beginning, it's under, it's under a cool one, Babu Mutu. Babu Mutu was well traveled. Ufunde from everyone. And then was Tata Zonkele Zindaba was Donza as Indaba of humanity. That is why I must check here. There's no timeline. Because the, the span is just, you understand? Because we are talking about we've got this thing now which is, we the black people we are the original race and the melanin is making us do this Ubaba says the current band they come from a half breed Odu who was created from beasts in the field 
and the original stock of the Amarire, the original red root race. And then Kwazalwa, the modern man. You know? So Ubaba had a way make it's as if we're born, Ubabuta so contextualized contextualized in the story. You could no 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 calm down, calm down. Even you, you you are also you are now a comp a, a, a composite. So this thing sometimes we get carried away, Uti. We are the original race and we are this, you know, we get this uh, superiority complex. There's ways Ubaba Dilangazona. You know, they also deals with it when he talks about the transmigration of the soul, the seven the, the seven steps of the transmigration of the soul, which also goes back to this age that we're talking about. Also, he told contextualizer as the seven worlds. Or you, I don't know if you've seen those maps where they are showing seven continents or they will show seven layers. Yeah. They're actually teaching with the thing. It's an age. Z14 masses masses Pelel. How many? Z14. In the north, but maybe totally stories said, but the set is cut into 14 pieces. <laughs> we are and Tina City, we are on the seventh Man Vantara. And there's six behind us. We are on the seventh. And there's Unezin is Napampi to make that 14. So Ubaba were using that seven again. <clears throat> Humanity out of that seven, I am big at the top. I am big foot at the bottom. Umbega in the middle. But we start out as grass, the consciousness. Maybe go to the transmigration of the soul. But in that lesson, it is also talking about the ages. So what you start out at grass phase, then you go to plants, then you go to tree. Then you hit human phase. Then you get to reptilian. Then you go bird. And then you go to the stars. You are returning now to your pure essence. I understand, Abantu, they understand it as you literally go to a star. No, it's, it's, it's saying you go back to your pure essence. On a more corporeal form, we return to the golden age. Of which if we are bigger, like we my children, when the cataclysm comes, because every time a new age begins, a cataclysm comes. So Baba Muto makes it very clear that you understand Uguti and these when the scientists who Saharili put mankind at the pinnacle of technology at that time. They were in the golden age. That's why Baba Ati Amarire was living in a golden hut. You know, there's a lot of if we found the account was he talks about gold, he talks about gold, he talks about gold because he is highlighting that humanity is at that golden age. I can't remember where I was going. <laughs> no, Kubek, Kubek, and I love it when you say on Indaba, my children, there is no timeline. Ubabo mm. In all of his travels yes. and everything he's had to go through. Mm. Ubaba has had an interesting life because once you listen to his interviews, you also hear of some of the things that he had to go through himself. Yes. There's a story that he tells of him being in Zimbabwe mm. and being abducted mm. by what you would call so called aliens mm. and them performing some sort of operations or researches on him. Mm. And he would say he's got these vague memories of these beings looking at him as if he was inside the mountains mm. somewhere in Zimbabwe. Mm. Mm. And anyone who hasn't watched Matopo. any of those videos or maybe Stema, if this sounds like it's a movie. The Matopo Hills. Yes, sorry. Mm, it's the Matopo Hills where Rhodes is, bur is buried, <laughs> funny enough. Is Rhodes buried there? Yes, oh, Rhodes. Okay. I stand corrected, but if I remember correctly, Rhodes is buried in the Matopo. And apparently when you go Which to those weird. mountains, most people when they go to those mountains never come back. Yes. And yes. he talks about having survived and when he came out of that mountain, he he was just a mess. Mm. And he was just walking in this village and he was just looking for help and he mentions that he was naked. Mm. It's a very touching story. Mm. Mm. It is. Just that one instance gives you an idea of what Ubaba has had to go through. Yeah. And then he also yeah. goes deeper into... Um, 
him speaking maybe some other things I wouldn't want to speak about them on camera. I want you guys yeah. to go do your own research. Got they're very touching. They're very emotional. And that's why I say Obaba went through a lot. Mm. And I love the mm. fact that he wrote his teachings not only on one book, yeah. on a lot of books and as many videos that he could do, he did. Although he would say good some people also took advantage of him. The, oh. Too Even much. on the books that he wrote, yeah. uh, apparently he didn't have ownership of the books. Yeah, as well. somehow that there's this naivety that comes over spiritual people. I am yet to understand it myself. <laughs> they become, it's like they become babes. You know, Mauliti by Billy, these are they. You have to have the mind of a child. You need to have the mind of a child. Yeah. I think they, you go to that phase so that you can be this uh, transmitter. Or now, in the human aspect, where who are still very, who are vibrating, I hate using those words, who are who are eating very low of, of, from the tree of life, Iba because they come bezo to take. They, t- they come to take. And that office value, it needs you to give. You you will give. I, I'm married to Mutoranjal, my wife. She she, she gives like, Uzutai boy, wait. <laughs> that is just the nature of that uh, that office. And it's so unfortunate because we have not built a long lasting. Should I say that though? Because I mean, our spirituality until a couple of years ago, it's. It was illegal. I mean, that active in Kumbula, it still it still stands. You know, we are still contextualized under the the Witchcraft Act. So we can't even say Uti, we have not done this or that because we we are still at, at an infancy stage. Adentole, going forward, we need to create houses that can take care of Abanda Banjian because another issue that I'm currently realizing from our people. We do not know how to 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 place a band to say, okay, I want to This is a teacher. <laughs> that one, that one is an experimentalist. He experiments. They are they are hands on. They are law. That's art. His his music. When it comes to this aspect of moy, a band just funuk lampa together. We want a band to do. We want to intergang If you want to go and look at the moy. Interpret a dream for me. You know, mm. and yes, because it's okay. Story, kunabantu who are storytellers, it's mythology. It's not necessarily umlando. It is mythology that is taught in a way that it teaches metaphysics, cosmology, cosmogony, astrology, astronomy, all those sacred sciences. If you look in between the lines, those are the teachings that you are being given. We to differentiate and then we find ourselves not able to acknowledge Abantu Besapila and not able to, to give Abantu the, um, the pedestals that are needed to actually get Abantu to teach Abantu Batolo Uluaz. That one we are still finding very difficult. We fight with we fight Abantu who are trying to teach us. Only for us, when we are at a place, we are like, Ish. yeah, I think he was right, you know. And then then we want to... Imagine the history of South Africa. Should the black man in the Saskatchewan be today? If the black man was conscious enough to say, Let's invest in the another type of science. You and me, we were taught a Cartesian based philosophy. Cartesian based philosophy when it comes to science. When a band who are talking is science and the physics, which is not based on Cartesian, 
Cartesian being atomism, bombarding particles, you know, swooshing electrons and things like that. Kuna bantu bethu abaphethe an entire science of subquanta phenomena. And Ubabu Mutwa was one of them. That is why Guna Bantu, who, um, you know, that I came across this principle in the book um, Outliers. I can't, I'm bad with authors. I can't remember who it was written by. Malcolm Gladwell. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. And he placed the 10,000 hour mark uh, for mastery. That is why you will find a Bantu who have reached that place. Maybe Fia Ubabu Mutwa, they would just. Yeah, well, because there, there's a there's a certain way that we contextualize this in using to say it, and we 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 need to give such people those avenues with bagwazi to comfortably shut themselves out in society. We need to be actually our black diamonds as Abanda Bamiyama right now. They should be comfortable enough to say, "Here's the funding. We'll come back to you in ten years." That is how other countries do it. They will have a psyops, a, a psyops department. <laughs> okay, in the mountains. military thing. Keep them there. Let them work. What have you created? Can we use it as a weapon? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes that's where it goes. But yeah. my point is, as Avanda Bamnyama, that is where some of I'm a fan that should be going to say, let's into the scene to SCTC as the answer. Can we actually put the finances? Can we put the doctorates behind it? Can we put the minds that have been given the skills of and give our way a chance? Now, if we are there when Ubaba was around because we pet. I've sat with some people about the accounts <laughs> when they would visit Ubaba. They, you know, because for, for him, these worlds were just, somehow it was, a, it, was a, it was a crossroad of all these worlds. I remember being interviewed, he was being interviewed by a white woman, Sandra Uyibona, the Bimbozo Gutao. What was it like? What does Amarava say? And he goes, I'm back. Because <laughs> you can see what he's like. How do I begin contextualizing into a kulunya ngumuntu onga lazy in this plane? By easy into esguazi ugbona 2,000, 200,000, 4 million years this way, 4 million years that way. How do I contextualize Lento Lengi Chelo to Lomuntu Kulmanganji, Lomuntu Kabanganji? How? Lukalangabi. And he was a crossroad for your uncle Lento Lengi. And they are coming, Abanya Bazofananai. They are coming. Abanya, they just need um, Jobangish on these lessons. There's no need to fight here. There's no need to go to get into a psychosis because there's no, there's no need because if already you belong to the occult side of things and Mangiti occult or the dark ankuluming or butige manjege segu nobu evilly or sebu nobu sebu nobu satan masiti occult or masiti dark sikulumang is into that are not available to our senses. Things that our senses, our five senses, are dark to. But more clearly, to the indigenous people, your kwedam, bayazu guti. For example, hearing, hearing here too, it's between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Anything, gali, we can't pick it up. But see, there's a band of you know, if you have a lot of <laughs> Sight, we have a range. The 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 electromagnetic spectrum. Siyazu guti ene amesho etu akala from about four hundred nanometers, coming down to about seven hundred nanometers. If ufunu we push her in any other direction, kunenglela of of doing such things. 
if we if we push her to go with more within and you observe sub quanta phenomena just because the zindel is coming as funu kichimisu next door aku funu kichimisu does not mean it cannot be applied differently where am i balekela why melesiye enzalo yelanga yingani ukubaluleka kwenzalo eyelanga yini why why should every black person especially from south africa go and experience inzalo yelanga I want to do f- we used to do flights between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. Um bang na do baba njoka tinje in the flight table. Yeah. And then he's angbone and then he says I, I had a, a longer yeah close but not that big because I'm taking time to grow this thing. Ati what's this? <laughs> yeah. Oh you had a long trip. Why did you kunda it though? No, every now and again, I, no, you know, it? just to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Especially among so, and I have to go meet people and stuff. Okay. Jokingly, I'm like, it's wisdom. He looks at me. And then I, I gave him a sandlass. I mean, kings don't shake foreigners. <laughs> kings don't shake for? Foreigners. Or oh, foreigners. So, hey, or, or, a man to man. Yeah. I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry for overstepping my, um, boundaries. So, it's not like, you put my I think women's a little long. How do you know that? It's my job to know that. <laughs> And he actually said, yeah, I I don't know whether he still does it, but at that time he was like, it's his annual pilgrim. He was like, they used to do it with a few kings that like Africa. Uh, the time, it's things that we as African kings. So the guys, they used to because that's what he said he said i go there to get to get power he or operate on the christian aspects of things so he was like i go there to pray that is where we were born all of us so in a space where we've become very whimsical concerning our origins you know? um we've got the cradle of humankind we've got homona lady there who they are now realizing that homona lady actually observed a ritual as to how they bury their dead they would even mark do certain scratches on the thing representing the earliest forms of art the documentary is on netflix you must check it out what is it called unknown a valley of bones there's many unknown episodes which one is um it's on, my, it's on my tiktok thingy the lona is unknown the valley of bones or something the valley of bones yeah okay i'm gonna Some, check it out something like that let me document yeah let, sorry let me just write it down sure so abantu bethu we still have we are many among us who do not want to recognize or come to terms with it guys this is part of the family tree you know and so when we have people or we have data which says guys this family tree in this epoch that is where it was rebirthed for me it is a it, it is worth checking out you know just to get there and sink your feet you know to help you with certain realizations so which actually there's more to this than we would like to think um Many of us we come we were brainwashed into this version of creation where a god wabumba or create Adam and Eve you know we are not aware which actually there are places which are marked as which were not la nizalelela some of you can be found there in uh, the cradle of humankind and the more it data is changing so which guys these people bebe fana nathi you know they are part of the family tree sifuna ukuhlehla you know so as people abantu abaqhamuka from christian backgrounds even on the side yes in we are still in denial about that fact ukuthi ne asiqhumanga etshini that there was this gradual develop development of consciousness njoba si we went through those phases and it's consciousness gradually developing 
the other day they found remains which showed uh, what I need, this specific type of variation of human. They died out because uh, the other types were cannibalizing them. The bone was showing what I need, this portion of Inyama was ikishiwa in such a way that this was cooked. <laughs> mm. That is all part of our human journey. You know, and we don't have to, we need to get to a space where there isn't aspects of us where Sifuna Uz Piga and then Sitai Sparamiselis. We need to get to a place where we embrace the left hand and the right hand comfortably. And for me, Nzaloye Langa represents Leon Dao. Nzaloye Langa also represents a space where you you are also is one in when you know actually our ancestors had a very detailed uh, star law. Because when you are there within those uh, within those rocks, just says, he was born, like, hey, boy, yo. <laughs> because Z Zida, you look up, Ubo Nietzsche, no one has to be explaining in the ink. We are born in the world. Actually, that's the best thing man. You know? It's good, but it's even better when we start taking these pilgrimages to places where Sibona Gawe to Amel, you know, actually, we had this. There is a certain level of understanding, excuse me, that we had concerning cosmology, concerning star law. And it is the more we make connections, Nyakumbula, my first time, Safige Sapal, which we joined with Igek. Sahambia, Sahlangan, and Apayan. The great empire of Kemet. Yes. Under the leadership of Umkul and Singh is. Yes. Siabong Umkul, Siabong, Siabong Umsebens or Mut. No, no, sorry. That's a Babengeko, Cocona Um, Coco Rutendo. Yep. Coco Grace? Oh, Coco Rutendo. Coco Rutendo. Coco Rutendo, yeah. May Coco Grace's soul rest in peace. Oh, yeah. It was she and I a couple of months back, yeah. Oh. From the Northwest. Anyway. Mm. So Safiga Sapasa around those uh and it was it was it was a humbling experience because I, I, I love the stars. Seek ye first the starry kingdom of God, and everything else shall be added unto thee, because all our races and civilizations they've placed Izindabazetu in the stars. If you go to the Quedam, I'm still trying to learn the language, the language of the, indig the indigenous people. Where me and you come from, by the way. Where me and you come from, by the way. We come from the indigenous community. Actually, this, that is one of the things we must be, we must start doing. Running DNA between Batembu, Bapedi, ba, so that we start seeing in actuality. Would know, guys. Actually, the Kwe or those Aktiwa, the Koi Koi or the Sen, it's us. It's still us with a bit of mingling from Abantu who are coming from different parts of the world. But that is us at our core. That is still us. So for me, it's beautiful because a lot of Abantu Betu, they're saying, I want my root. And then Uzo Pelela in the last 200 or 500, 500 years. But no, go back that. Klesha. And you will arrive at the, at the, at the Kwe languages, the Kam, and all those. Because uh, that is us. That is our in Zulu that much indigenous. So, at a pace where we are still comfortable, because many of us have fallen for this idea which you know we are separate people, and you know. And Lababandu Bapete Ulo. When it comes to Impande, Bapetu Luaz Ulning. And when it comes to deciphering, we had a group called the Bona Abakulu Basekim. It was a WhatsApp group. Um, I was invited by uh, Umalata Gwena. It goes by the name Muruti or Baruti on Facebook. A mad man, but a brilliant man. Spamu. Spamu. So we had a group there. We would actually discuss these things. So, where, sorry to this. When you say mad men, what do you mean? Because it's only Yeah. No, there's there's levels of <laughs> there's levels. <laughs> there's levels of Uklanya. No, yeah, that 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 man 
uhlanya when it comes <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to lolwazi okay uhlanya yeah. people who are in the group they understand Deep what in I knowledge mean. right and in the deny we born pum up it's just anything is uhlanya so and we had a band who who, who understood these uh, indigenous languages so he's in the north so befika lahlela 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 in the north in the north kune zangoma kune inyanga zilahlele from the south sihlanganise and then we take it to the indigenous languages and boom sometimes we would take english words break them down to their pi roots and boom we find it in kwe because the the click languages those are the oldest and the original the original languages ukoko credo mutwa says <clears throat> if you go and decipher the sumerian texts or sumerian languages you find that it's got a lot of bantu languages or the bantu languages in it i can believe that i do believe that i shouldn't say it's a matter of belief um the alphabet again guys ipumala in our continent the alphabet as we as we know it today it it comes from uh, the continent now i understand the scholars who would rather say no <clears throat> the alphabet it comes get so so much predates egypt depending on how they date these things like it so they will always give the civilization that is outside the continent a further back date than a civilization that is that is in the continent those were some of the things that we were actually looking at in that group who we'll take words that is why i can say to you abkalu that's a sumerian word abkalu that's why i can say to you abakul because that is what we were we were dealing with being able to to break down words that is why we could, could could say wowani instead of saying the owanes as how they would put it in the in the north maybe from this about the labantu laba the wisdom keepers that see to it that every time we go through these things and between these 12000 there there are micro there are micro disasters that happen as well but those we can touch on uh, on another subject but there are there's always a class of people that make sure that if such things happen ulwazi to sustain humanity will remain and that is the basic laws and as abalandeli belanga one of the realizations we've had would see the reason why there is such a in terms of intro so outside of abantu are trying to make him mad but there is there is a very strong pull with an we need to get this knowledge out of emoyeni and more into the physical because we need to be able to to self sustain should any of these things they start becoming a reality sooner than we thought we born in itego itego already is elqalile you know we know about the ones and zeka every 10 years and things like that but man just come gizi nje singa you know imoya kade i amanzi afuna ukuba i cape town na yuzwile but the whole waterfront ngathi amanzi amanzi afuna ukuba uya back to where to where they were you know so if a civilization needs if something were to happen they've been talking about it uku a great collapse it collapses to such a way that they can't even back, they can't even get it back up where are the wisdom keepers abo bana bakwazi ukulapha hmm how many books are, are they still out there right now yeah well. so it ibuye like that ukuthi ne excuse me you need to be able to be self sufficient now as abalandeli belanga we are realizing that we've got in band covered there's certain arts that are that are hidden that still need to be emelezi phothululwe so that we can start using them on a day to day basis it's useless uhlonisha lo ukuthi wena hayi lightning ukuthi umuntu umhlala ngi lightning but we can't take that very same lightning which can power johannesburg for 20 years if only we are able to just kwazi kuyibamba si hanes yeah well. for me it it does it doesn't make sense but we need to research i remember ngonkhuluma with the, these guys but say uj what they were saying to these guys it's fine keep the knowledge you we shy we will tell you ishaila 
Ishaela and we will harvest. Because that, that's, it's, it's as simple as that, the way we see it. If you have the knowledge, let's syncretize all this knowledge. Stop the fight. So we'll say, hey, this is Western knowledge. This is the alphabet. And then it, it bloomed into all the other continents. In actuality, we cannot say there's Western knowledge, there's law. It is still Uluaz Luitu. It is just that Bonage, because they are more inclined to the left hand, to the left brain sphere, by Shagaza. They are taking this one whole thing by Shagaza into different things, into, you know, Ibe Ibe into a ning, so that they can they can be able to con to to use it in a form a if I can put it like that. With the science here too, we still we need to be that generation. Maktiwa, ya bulala lentole. Tina siti bulala kanga kana And then we go and try and measure it. And then try and see you uti singa isebenzi saranjani. Ba ninga bantu abalala with huge, 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 huge amounts of uh, potential as far as the energy is concerned. But because they come from a closed system, they cannot see what an application is going to be so much that actually we can even revolutionize the transport. I know I'm thinking too far, but to think even more closer, to be more practical, let me just use. We can revolutionize how we are building homes. That basic structure, SCRZ, of that hut, we can use the knowledge is now you see revolutionize and end the essence for today this thing about bizo eco eco culture eco environments we should be leading those spaces but we cannot until we actually start researching with an challenge is now right now is those who are in the know Academia wise, my betty nitini. They are asking them based on Cartesian science, like I said, bombarding bombarding atoms and particles. Not understanding what that is just one way of looking of looking at this thing. Unfortunately, when we were given education, we were told there's an electron that is swooshing here. I want to about that light. There's photons, there's... such a route. That is what is happening. But if we were to go cut that cable, it's not going to bleed photons. It's not going to bleed electrons. So where is it then? It's a concept. It's a concept which has been structured for one type of philosophy or one type of physics in a structure area. Now, we need to find that structure. Wongo muntem sabe no msigang e reza la isanje no pumi kaz. Kaz le afana li bov. Kota ktiwa koninte tile e yenza bantaba mnyama basuge. Kubobo onka bantem sabe in. And they would say, it's called melanin. What is melanin and what's the relationship between melanin and dark matter? What is dark matter? Hey, this one is has <laughs> cost me a few friends. <laughs> it's cost you a few friends. A few friends, yeah. Why? Um let me give a bit of background. Yeah. There is a spiritual community that is building against. Now, the spiritual community that is building it is based on writings that were done in the 70s and 80s and even earlier, 60s. We have one. I guess I, we touched on it a bit earlier. The writings of about Dr. Ivan Sertima, Ben Yokanan, you know? About Bobby Hermit. Oh, Bobby Hermit is, is, is he's still an excellent teacher. He, he's still in Gala. Is he still alive? I think he's passed. Eh? Just as an excellent teacher. I think he's passed. Was. Sorry. Continue. So what, what, what has happened? Because Sinela, yeah, the spiritual community has also suffered from Ugunela, just as we were doing with Christianity, which is from Gapandli. 
and then se fundi sabantu. So what is happening in our community? Abantu ba fundi sa from those very old sources. Now what was happening in those sources? Ma be fundi sa certain aspects of spirituality because spirituality has been defecated on and it is illegal. They would always try and bring in a whole lot of science jargon to try and uh, you know keep abantu you know. But yes, Nati, we are we are on the you know we are on the cutting edge of. So, unfortunately, what would happen is now they would take data from physics and science, and by um, enzeganji to very old principles, ama philosophies and metaphysics. Oh, fungati fisi begis is 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 mbaba si tlambi skaba. Tina sanga bantu bamnya mage i i metaphysics as balanga ngayo ama principles ayo si ayi funda. Mabeti mabeti. For example, maktiwa umuntu ohambeng is kali le yonto kumele ishanjululu. That's a lesson in metaphysics. Yeah, a lot of visiting to say it. In metaphysics, say it to yonto be sinjani. In the SEP, it's part of a culture. If we, if we beg uh, the rituals and practices as is enzayo through the different ages, Muntres Lisa, Muntres Fazan, those are lessons in metaphysics. Of which is Puma Gupi, the Kamwag Malangin, the one teacher. Yeah, we're too song. Beskul Mangan Mench. Beskul Mangan Dark Matter and the Melanin. Yes. So that is what happened. So mm, so back then, the Gunale premise about creator, Yoguti. This dark thing, on our skin. This dark thing, in the in the is it the Ingra and the locus corellius, It gives us ama ama functions a so they are happening at a, at a higher rate because of electricity. The more melanin you have, the more electric electrical conductive you are because of lighting. So what the fault now these teachers would do is because they were looking at ideas from the physics community, theoretical physics and, and things like that. Maktiwa dark matter. Dark matter. Dark is black. Our skin is black. Melanin is black. When you look up the night sky at night, you see black. But when you look up, you are seeing an absence of light. It's not a thing. You get me? Just like that shadow, it's not a thing. It's an absence of something. And so because the grounding that you need on this side, we, we in theoretical physics to understand is the easy. Sometimes you don't even have to search that deep. Yeah, but if you don't do that, you risk this thing which has happened in the spiritual community, which they will take words such as dark matter, frequency, Vibration. There's this other one. Nobody turned the the slit, the double slit experiment. Yeah, it tattooed everybody. Master says tattoos is the light of Angola with spirituality. It it becomes totally something else. The meaning, the meaning. Yeah. So that is how now we ended up with this conundrum where Abantu Bates who are thinking that a process, a chemical process that is happening within the body, is that same thing. Which the theoretical physics physicists were talking about, it dark matter. So the realization back then, I would start back then. Coming now was that um, we we can our senses. What's our? Let me rather rephrase. What's available to our senses? Masas kuluma the universe wise collectively. It's ninety percent. And then they would say, everything else, what we are seeing, ne, it's ten percent. Ninety percent we cannot see. Yeah, well, but the coin of this term, it is dark. Because not 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 because it's dark, ngoba imnyama. We are calling it dark because we cannot, we cannot see it. We can't study it. We can't. All we can see is what it's doing. Now, it dark matter. It does not. Um, it doesn't emit light. It doesn't absorb light. It doesn't reflect light. 
is just something just as you would say. It's there. If we were to compare it to Izinto Esizazi or from, uh, from religions, we will say omnipresence. In him, we live, move, and have our being. To use an example, we would say, it's not that it's, it's somewhere out there. No. Ida, Ida. So there was back back in the day, back in the, the 80s or the 90s, I can't remember exactly. So that's where they were. 90% is dark to us. We only have 10% available where came now this thing yoguti we only use 10 percent of our brains <laughs> that's where the thing comes from it is not something that is there it is just something spiritual communities can build <laughs> to say if kukanjalo that, that is you can read up on it if you are but that thing yoguti we use 10 percent of our brain it actually comes from that premise. So with 90% of all this, it's, we are unaware. We, can, we can't get to it. Today, they've even gone further now. They are saying, hey man, our universe is expanding at an alarming rate. There is this thing, a push eye, but we can't see it. And then now they are saying it's dark energy. Now, just like dark matter, can't emit light, it can't absorb, it can't ref reflect. But astrono um, uh, astronomers, they can see our universe is. And then Masasi Sage, that aspect of the Kalpa, is case Akulumangai, who would say, Ne, Jongoba Natis Pefmula, who is in Jongoba, he expand. It's an in breath. And one day, which is a winds and journey. Is all, is all in, in breath and out breath. So because button ear expand and there's this pressure that we, if India expand, we will say there's a pressure behind to that expansion, but we cannot measure it. Now they are saying dark, like, no, 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 no. Because of the gravitational field, is it gravitational? Yeah, the gravitational field that we are picking up here land, we are actually realizing that 96% of, uh, is it nine? No, no, sorry, 69% of everything that, that is around us, it's dark energy. And 25%, hey, shy functional mathematics, 25% is dark matter. And only 5% is available to us. Only five. So that is uh, right now in current physics, that is where they are. This thing about the, the, the gravitational thingy, by prove, I think within the last three months, because of measurements that uh, they were doing. Now, the unfortunate thing, Mfundisimo uh, Fire, that is happening in our community is that um, we have taken a lot of um, teachings from uh, America that were actually put out there to actually dump down Abantu. Abantu now believe in a flat earth, we believe there's a dome, a literal dome above us, you know. We've become very anti-science. And that's the unfortunate thing. So, but naturally, EU theater, we are losing an interest in these things. What is happening out there? If these stars are doing this, what does it mean here? Because says, those are just little lights in the sky. They don't matter. Yet... The billionaires, they are preparing for life outside of orbit of the earth. Isn't that interesting? Hmm? <laughs> we are fighting for land. Hmm? We are being told, ah, it's flat, there's a dome. Science, Makulumu Doti, NASA is fake, don't worry, it's all, it's just nonsense. Yet those who can, they are, um, they are employing the best minds in the world. Elon, on a space station as we speak. <laughs> What if one day we get this land as if now and that was that is when the cataclysms will come? <laughs> is 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 there life outside of Earth? There's there's no way there's no life outside of Earth. Now it's just a question of form. What type of form is it? Is it corporeal life, flesh, flesh and blood like this, or are they electric beings? 
Oh, that's what I wanted to say earlier uh, about when I started reading in in, in, Daba, in Daba my children, in Daba my children, and watching my lectures, my tapes, mm. I was confronted by these. Excuse me. I was confronted by these, for lack of a better word, I'd say electrical beings. You know, hence he was my. <laughs> you know, because then it was a. It, for the first time, it became. It didn't become a theory. It was an actual thing. We would say, la la la. There is life outside this this meat suit, <laughs> because it was an experience that I had where I found myself in Vulamelo, but understanding very well that my eyes are closed, and struggling to pull myself out of myself. <laughs> To actually open my eyes, you know that movie in the Matrix, where Neo is, yeah, it kind of felt like that. Like I'm, a, I'm a newborn. I'm, I'm yavuga, but I've never opened myself to this uh, reality. <laughs> so from then on, I never looked back. It's just so yeah. We don't know the type of um, life being, form, yes, of beings, mm, yeah, that are out there. And na kona abaganje, I wouldn't rule it out. Why? Why? I mean, look at our Earth. It's so diverse. There's but in but it's seventy part of seventy percent of our globe is just water. It's water. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Who knows what could be there? <laughs> you know, having its own independent. Li- there's there's no way. Probability why probability there's a lot of life. Probability there's a lot of life, and yeah, they might be walking around us as us. You never. We, we, we don't know. <laughs> Did you see what's happening in the states? The commission. Let's move the states, man. Let us let us see. We get a lama press conference. We have. Let us let us pass petty and speak to. Unokbona ba njaba njaba mira ba ngatwaiz. Ngatwaiz le matle ni abanye. Ngatwaiz shasha ya man. I don't know what's going on in America. Eh? Kibo old. Eh? The creatures guys are hairy. And I'm interested for us to get into those conversations when you start visiting us ne- later. It's beautiful and interesting that you brought in. in Sorry, were well, you answered on the the dark matter melanin? Yeah, and it doesn't stop because yeah. I obviously I've got more follow up questions, but mm. you you can't condense everything into an hour's mm. episode. Mm. But for me, the reason why I like these types of interviews it's just to take the audience's brains all over the show. Yeah, you know, I don't have like yeah. a, an agenda. Oh, I don't have like now I'm self on us. That's why I mm. use like fun was and fun fun as much as I can. Yeah, you know, and the information I pay, the foot I pay lately. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and um, this Bible that you've just brought here, and we'll call it a Bible in that mm. my children. Yaga koko credo. At the back, when you read it, it says it is an absorbing collection of legends. This excellent and human book reserves a wider circle of readers. This was by well, this was a comment by. Times literary supplement back then, mm. and then it says the narrative of the historian turns into incantation of the visionary. This was the Guardian mm. quoting the book back then, and then this book is indeed epic. This was the Sunday Tribune in Durban. This is back yeah. then. Now, when you read it, it says, whenever the names look like being forgotten, and the memory is overwhelmed. By the events of time, the preservation of cultural traditions assume a new and more vital importance. Believing that the tales, what that the tales he learned from the elders, gave direction to his life and motivated him to further his knowledge of his people's history. Vusa Mazulu Kredo Muto through the ancient and art of storytelling takes on that commitment to preserve. Promote and revive the past. First published in 1964, In Daba My Children is an internationally acclaimed collection of tales and legends that chart the story of African tribal life. It is through these stories that one is able to reconstruct the past of Africa. It is through these stories that intertribal friendship or hatred was kept alive and burning that the young were told who their ancestors were who their enemies were and who their friends were mm. excelling in the medium of storytelling the vusa mazulu awakener of the zulus 
provides a collection that sets the reader on a beautiful and spirited journey through the tales and legends of Africa. If there's any young person who's out there who's foreign to this type of information, who would like to start reading this type of information and dig deeper. And this is a journey that as soon as you start with one book, it sends you down that rabbit hole mm. where for the rest of your life, you must know mm. good, you'll keep on digging. So you must be prepared that once you start wanting to know more about this type of, inf of information, <laughs> it's going to end up becoming a lifelong journey. And yeah. as you read, you keep coming mm. across all sorts of different information that takes you from pillar to post. Mm. Sometimes you feel like not really and then you <laughs> listen to other people. Certain things make sense. Certain things don't make sense. Yeah. And I guess that's why people yeah. who delve into this side of information are sort of considered amasanya. Mm. And uh, they are loners. And mm. you were also saying earlier that you are a loner. Yeah, yeah. yeah how, how does that make you feel? And does that make you... Um, um, resent having gone this journey are you enjoying this journey and what what may be your message to other young people out there who might want to go through this lane i can never resent it I, i've been at this for a solid 12 years now because um if it wasn't for the journey the expectations of Christianity are heavy on the mind of a black child. They are very heavy. And so I found myself, I come from preachers. I mean, growing up in Konzoeni, I had this inclination that you need to search out the root of Lady Pipe. Yeah, I understand. And the more you read into it, you're not finding the truth. <laughs> it is only when you start reading the literature that informed what went into the Bible. It is only when you start interacting with cultural practices that later became what informed what went into the Bible. That is where I found the freedom. That is where I found the freedom. Um, I, I'd never say don't take the journey. The journey will open you up, not just spiritually, spiritual wise only, but in general, your mind will expand. Your interest expands. If it's Kulumang and Zaluye Langa, we start touching on, on a, a bit of um, archaeology. If you are, we have a mind for such things, when we start delving into the lessons about the astrology and astronomy, if you have a mind for those things, don't listen to these people about flat earthers. And if, if that will take you to, I want to be an astronaut one day, that is where these things, that is what it can open up for us. Because right now we are very closed up. As There, there are career paths out there that, that such knowledge can open you up to where you can realize that actually this is what I'm naturally gifted at, which is something we are still struggling as a Bandabamiyama, which is something we need to figure out quickly as a Bandabamiyama in the type of economy that you have, walking in line with your gift, riding that wave, Yago. And such things as annoying and difficult as it may be, and it's not difficult, the only difficulty is that um, it was never really drilled into us growing up, Uguti. There's fiction and there's non-fiction. And then there's writers who take the two and they do this. And then it's your baby, Uguti, how you figure it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, no one took the time to actually tell us, Uguti, guys, that holy book, it's not based on literal events. You know, we are, we are still working from a very literal view. So now when you take that and you come here, it becomes a problem. Because you are still trying to place the writings within a certain time frame that we've been taught of 6,000 years. And you understand? Whereas just in JE, is cycle A1, Yelanga. It takes, depending on which system you are using, 
it takes 25, 25, 24,000 years, you know? And here you are, when if you grew up in the system, we are being told of this timeline, yeah, 6,000. <laughs> you know, so this thing, it just, it, it opens your mind up. A few years ago, Umuntu, when, the, when he says evo evolution, I'd go, <laughs> that's devil talk. But once you start opening such things, that is when you start realizing that, no, man, there's, there's more to this human experience than what's been contextualized for us in that Bible. Because the context we have of the Bible, was, it was given to us, you know. Ooh, Ellen Watts, Peace, Peace and Love unto the Ancestor. Can't remember which book that is. He's like, actually that book, for, we should actually take it and lock it up for a hundred years so that we can forget all the conditioning that we've received so that we can re-look at it with new eyes. So, yeah, I, I would never say umtanga kral. Start with Especially for Abantu, Abani Kwama, Abantu who've been called to do certain work. If you do not get your mind frame right, I help Abantu with the process of decalting. Keep your own kelea kanke kwelela. Kwelinte ining in the mind of a black child. There's many, uh, I don't want to say philosophies that, <laughs> you know, the, violently. For other people, Aban, you can actually pick it up. <laughs> so uh, the process of, of decalting, of which if it doesn't happen, where you go through that process, where you decalt even your premise of ubunkulunkulu. I know at some point it was a good idea. with a city. No, we're doing away with the Father in heaven. Now we are placing a female in heaven, and I am saying even that has its own. Limitations. So uh, I help Abantu go through that process. What I've, what I've realized over the years is I find Abantu sometimes they want to go through the decalting process and it becomes very challenging. It's very challenging because now the, pre the premises are set. And lo muntu lo hamba na and then and then it blossoms but now it is blossoming in a hmm? the context it's blossoming but now it has its own knowledge and it's you know in a, in a knowledge set a hamba a hamba now this is where now you will find the because in a christian fundamentalism and the nature or the fluidity of what is ilos or a guy a guardian, you know, not ilos and then call a huge debate my comments, a guiding spirit or whatever you want to call it, it can create loggerheads or very ugly uh, situations where one can actually end up in a psych ward if these things are not sorted out. Because we live in the flesh, we were created for the flesh. So now. If all of a sudden I start seeing Amanda by twenty and Hamba Nabo, and no one has given you that place to decalt and do shadow work comfortably, ungeko under duress or anything, uchengi so uchi. No, no, this idea, ipumalab. This idea, you see that star, the lesa si busy kubangom, bona by busy ganj. This idea kamgala, it kamgala, and then all these dark spaces, yeah, you start shedding light. And then umundo akale we are tetela all these preconceived ideas, so that monge ne pechwe ngena with a blank slate. That is the mission for us. Ufagabantu la payana with a blank slate, and then abapuma yo skwazupa shanganisa with abaya yo o abangege bay. The more we have a band abangenangalena with a blank slate, is the more sizo skwazuguba na bandu abazi. It doesn't matter what ne which aspect of this you are using what matters is how are you using it how is your christian kung fu how is your lozi kung fu how is your kemet kung fu is it working for you if i believe in it by their fruits he shall know them are we seeing the fruits now or it just ends it ends at a place where we are arguing you are like 
kill our people. Oh. Mm. They killed our people. I won't listen. You did this. You did that. Because that, that is where sometimes life is going on. And that, unfortunately, is where the learning stops. So in the coming age or the age that we are in of Aquarius, we need to realize the oneness of all these teachings fundamentally. Because if we are not there, we are just going to keep tearing at each other. And it gets bad for my families. You know, all very simple you know, or three, four generations down the line, kunen to chambe wak mele kunes tu no gonji sans esa sense gil. In the very simple, but it can't be that not can't be released. Because the family is structured yabo, they are Christian abafunugwaz. Any anything we we're talking about the light spectrum earlier. I wanted to go into um Jungobas Funisa ngu kanya, kusunkunkulu is light. Now when you take luminance from Ilanga and you run it through a prism, you remember the thing we used to do in school? Only then you realize what's it, within that light, there's the darkness of when there's the, there is no light or the set aspect still within that light. And then there's that seven ray band. Roy Gbiv, right? Roy yeah. Gbiv. Yeah. Roy Gbiv. Then there's that seven ray band, and then, which we have available to us. And then anything above four, 400 nanometers, we cannot see. And anything above seven, below 700 nanometers, we cannot see. Now, in the Christian fundamentalist construct, anything that is not within that law, I'm a demon. It's either demons or angels. So what we find happening is that the beings that are, are below that 700 uh, spectrum, that is your infrared and, you know, those would be your lower type beings. And then anything above that, um, that 400, there will be your higher beings. But we'll see, those are the angels. And then let's see, those are the demons. And it is just life, lifing over and above what is currently available to you in your senses. And the last color corner with, Aba, with Abanya Bantu, who are just like, yeah, 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 as as if you can just appreciate that, you could see with these eyes, this is what is available to you. Ne, we have vomut. This is what is available to you. We have vomut, and if this is what's available to you, there is also other things on our who's born, not because they are evil, they are matimoni or unkulunkulute. If I was born, then Agmelu was born. That is just how life is. The same way right now. In your bloodstream right now, there's a war going on <laughs> between, uh, is it the red blood cells and the, what's the, what are the other ones? The white blood cells. Zialwa. Which side do you pick? Because <laughs> hmm? to pick either side, you just bulala. Yeah, well, we start opening Umuntu up to such uh, conversations. I remember the other day I saw a thingy, Umuntu 18. They thank God for Oh, no, it, was, it was American, which they thank God for slavery, because if it wasn't for slavery, they would still be a pagan in Africa. <laughs> Lana, you'd actually hear about it. If it wasn't for apartheid, I wouldn't know about Jesus. Mm. I am Christian first, then I am African mm. second. So that is the work, trying uvula in Gondo, And was Octuga, hey? But this year, because now I've, I've formalized it, um, I'm getting more comfortable in the role and realizing this is what they are here for, bridging this gap. Because I come from a line, a family where, till this day, peace and love. Even now, I'm a herbalist. Kid mummy have a listing young at I that is the level of awareness that is in our blood. And it's up to us who see what we vula. Otherwise we're not gonna understand ourselves. We are not gonna understand ourselves because we are 
we are multidimensional. We are multidimensional without getting into the warm and fuzzy stuff. But in the, our being and our nature and this thing, you would say electricity wise, we process it better. We, we generate it better. It opens us up to a whole, a whole range of awareness that we need to be able to appreciate. Does it get longer? Um, nah, nah. I think I was prepped long enough. Yeah, but I think sevens. Um, bring shalangi one. Bring shalangi one. I'd go to work, come back. Um, when I was in the continent, I'd go, go to work, come back. You are alone. <laughs> if you are lucky, there would be crew. Then you can go hang with them. But normally, I'd be alone. Uh, sometimes you're working. I would be working odd hours. So between at any given time, between two a.m. and five a.m., I'm awake. <laughs> You know, when, if you are meditating around the, that time, that is, you can get a lot of, you know, things just, the figure guy, and uh, I think each one is eh. So where I am, man, you know, shame, and you it's it's not lonely at all. It's not. You have kids? Yeah. Four. Four kids. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I got four kids, married, happily married. Um, my wife now, yeah, she is a person of the cloth. Um, as far as it's seen to cloth, I don't mean uh, as, as as far as it's seen to. When we had to go work, uh, so Dwala caves, we, she's actually the one wearing Bambi sandal. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the setup. Okay. Maybe that's why I'm not lost. <laughs> I'm watching this episode. I'm watching this episode. I'm watching this episode. I'm legends, customs, and religious beliefs. What are other three books you can send me as a young person for me to begin this journey? Recommend three books. Um, oh, I'm I'm bad at that okay. and remembering names. One book or two books. So, rather, let me put, let me put it like this first. Um, once you get into such writings, um, make sure that your your hunger for tribal history also delile na Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of people who come to such writings by map because they expect to get <coughs> what they know. And what is written here, they expect it to to go to So they expect it to make sense. Yes, and Ubaba and him, he he was he was building as he was being instructed, so that we are we are basically teaching the all things using one thing. The, 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 that's what it is. So first and foremost, I mean, I would say sort out your hunger for history. You know. Um, in history, I don't know any authors. Zala. Who do I know? South African authors, the history. Niazaz Buffett. Sort out your hunger for history. And then, more kreta lapo. Because you get bored eventually. <laughs> eventually, you'd get bored. Um, the writings of Ndate Runo Rashidi. Yeah, as far as history. Runo Rashidi. Yeah. He's also passed on peace and love to the ancestor. Very detailed. Yeah, very detailed. Another scholar who did great work. Um, Runoko is um, Rashidi. Okay. Dr. Ivan Sertima. Dr. Ivan Sertima. Sertima. Okay. Mm. Makanyam cool, Sebo. Eh, eh. Spong is cut. Ugu Ivala? Ugu Ivala. Oh, and then I'll say, when you want to start getting into Ngala, figure out Kalufuna Ukfunda and what is your best means, what is your learning method that makes sense to you? Because Abanya Bantu, they are not for reading. Abanya Bantu, they are, they think mathematically, if I can put it like that. So if you're it's always easier. What if you're 
Utkale Shambe with numbers, numerology, and things like that. If you are interested in the stars, you know, Utole Indao, that you will be comfortable as your as your entry point. Yeah. Last remarks. Uh, thank you, brother. Thank you for the opportunity to come through. I didn't think I was going to be able to talk this much. <laughs> I think for me, it's it's the beginning. I'm yeah. glad we finally met. Jeez, you tall. You're taller than me. I didn't even know. You know, the thing is, I know you through TikTok. So as we ball, meet... I used to be a ball player, man. So oh. <laughs> Jeez, you're very tall. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to our next engagement when you do definitely, come back to join us. Definitely. When I'm with you. Yeah, I, was, uh, I will. I was fearing it because, like I said, I prefer, especially because of the subjects, I prefer lecturing. I prepare, have the thingies, and then I, I present. Kuluma. It's not my thing, but I must say, I'm big at No, I'm big at For me, I'm going to take a push the pants. Oh. I'm going to microphone and push the pants in the stand. Kanji. No, 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 no. It's a visual lap. It don't it push the pants. Oh, oh. Yes, ah, there we go. Yes, okay. Yes. Dum dum. Just. No, 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 no. So, for me, it's, it's, it's a first conversation. And it's fine mm. that it's all over the show. It's mm. good. Makes people think. Yeah. Makes people back piggy, sir. You know, mm. I mean, you're in the space. <laughs> you know, see, 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 um, see a pig san and jala online. Mm. And, I'm, and I'm sure mm. you, you are used to all sorts of different types of energy. One so. thing I can add is um, I don't like talking about aliens because um, I feel like it's a waste of time. We, we, we talk about aliens and then. And then what? And then what? Do you understand? If for me, for where I am standing in the background, if you're going to talk about aliens, you better tell me what they were traveling in. You know? What's the propulsion system? <laughs> What's the philosophy of the craft they were using? What is the... Tell me that so they can be like, okay, how can we reverse engineer and use it? <laughs> That's where I would rather be in fit. I'm looking at a space where AI is is moving rapidly and already we are having issues with employment so we need to go back to inka abayolo so that we can be able to self-sustain build eco-friendly homes homes that can be warmed in winter without needing is into ningi homes that understand the trajectory yelanga and how to heat and cool homes naturally this thing you got in the room, look, tell you what you mean. I'm never voting. Was we send the Egypt to vote angila, but we can't use the vote to warm our homes. It 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 doesn't make sense for me. It's quite it's quite missing to live. It's quite make some of the squares look pagani, and more pili so pili sa utaki wonge. When I say this, index some of these unpack. Which was once that's unpack, we can't even see to see how one's intellectual property. We unpack it, we dump it. We dump it around, so that about to, and this is around building this this the structures like I'm a cop homes, finding different ways of generating electricity using biomass, using our own feces. Use, you know, when I, mean, I start, I mean, they're like, I not, you know, gas from our own, from, you know, so that we can slowly but surely start building. And when I say this, it's not because I am anti-government. It's just the reality of where we are, where our labor is becoming, they are squeezing us day by day for our labor. So if you cannot have a place where you are like, I in Kishap, and live in my, we need to be able to give our people that. We need to be able to give our people ability, your kwaka, proper structures without needing any material. I know it looks far fetched, but from now, but we can do it without going going to build it or wherever. One of these, uh, not to speak against a guy, be about um, <clears throat> these companies that sell building material. But the reality is, majority of Bantu Bay too are at a place where you cannot even afford those things. You understand? So we need to find ways through Lolo's Lwet, creating structures that we can comfortably see a good. So that as these jobs, I remember last last year, I wanted to learn e computer philosophy, as in the foundation. I'm about the devil in the detail. 
so that I can get into coding. Yeah, well, just not just understand them. And this person I was asking, he's in coding. Ati, excuse me, I wouldn't do that if I was you, because coders are not going to be needed very soon. Even people who understand computer computer philosophy at that base, because AI is just going to do zonke um, lezozint. Who was it? One of the employees or ex-employees of Google. He said, everything that people are hired for right now, as far as coding, programming, zonke AI will be able to do fully. Yeah, he was on the diary of uh, diary. Of, Thank you, diary of the CEO. That was a brilliant interview. It was. It was. I forgot it. his name. Let me get it you his was. name quickly. Mm. So, as far as self-sustenance is concerned, we really need to get our acts together, without relying on outside inputs but relying on what was left for us by our ancestors. And the quicker we do this, the quicker we realize, Uti, okay, le, can we use it? We get practical with it. I, I, le, we can't use. Si zegle, si zegle. Because there's a lot of mirages right now in our community. There are a lot of mirages, things that look like they are zinamant, and it's just a trickery, you know? So the sooner we do that for ourselves, I would say the better. Yeah, man. Nya bonga kakhulu for isikhathi mfo wethu. Bonga mina. Nkulu nkulu aqhubeka kubusise baba qhubeka babe na abaphansi. Siyabonga umoya, siyabosa sesibonga nesikhathi. Likewise, thesivala ngomthatha, sivala ngelothi prayer ngithi. Ngajabula kakhulu. Siyivulila ngithi. Ngajabula mfo wethu. So ke singabalandeli belanga sifundisa the 12 positions of the sun and how they correlate to imz <clears throat> the parts the 12 parts of israeli or the 12 parts of the body or the 12 parts of uh, the temple so i taught this to my kids they hate it because they have to touch <laughs> themselves so sikala la city baba wethu sekhaya izulwini say it with me pal baba wethu wasekhaya izulwini baba wethu sekhaya izulwini okay Next time we will break it down. Ne? Yeah. Baba wethu sekhaya izulwini. Malingcweli iswiga malako. Malingcweli malingcweli iswiga malako. We are at the pineal. Mm. That's the pineal. Umbuso wakho mawuze. Umbuso wakho mawuze. Imibuso. Imibuso in our lives. Imibuso that we must build collectively. Mm. Sikala ngolimi. Mm. And then ntando. The mm. Yakho your will. Your will be done mm. on earth. This is your earth, I mean. Mm. This is your earth. Mm. As it is in heaven. When your will, sorry, when the will from heaven mm. is in alignment with the executors of will, Isinkwa mm. will be sorted. Give us this day our mm. daily bread. That is Isisu. Mm. And then masa slezi pansi sadla si akulelana. We go to the kidneys, basically. Forgive us our sins. Forgive as us we sins. forgive those as we who trespass those against us. Who trespass against us. From Lapo, we start thinking about procreativity and the next generation. Basa city, lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. That is your pirate part. Mm. Ne? Lead us not into temptation. Help us not overuse the electricity which is now conditioned as seed. Let us not let us not misuse. Masuga la pabese city. Siteni forgive us or lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evils of spilling too much. Bese city, for thine is your kingdom. Those are the thighs. That is the support for the kingdom. Mm. Squats will do a lot for you mm. if you know how to do them right. Mm. For thine is your kingdom. Sise Magdolwin. Sise the power. The power. Sise imlenze, the calves. And glory, basis your figure is in Yahweh. Glory. The age where we are coming from, Pisces, sits forever and ever. Amen. See, Valala. That is a lesson now through the 12 signs of the ecliptic that we can take from the lesson from Umzimba. 
Nasala the next time unzonge na samoglo conversation. But as Sisi Valila, and just the last question. Yeah. Um, you've just reminded me of something. What What is the importance of semen retention? Um. Without sounding too. <laughs> so, go kwe mfisho yangale. City. Imana. Kune mana figure yo every man. Nzo ibe aranjal. Abanyi bati mbewu. So, my figure limbewu. Ifige la. Ekai zuluin. Or the holy. The holy of holies. In um in your class in your classroom, in your cerebrum, cherubim, and then basically through the ventricles. Um, oh, I can't remember the systems. Yes, basically my yesha, it crystallizes as seed now. Yeah. So basically, through retention. And keeping a tithe and returning a tenth back to heaven, you are also aiding yourself in your awakening journey. Ugozivula, eh? Through not through being not hmm? through not spilling too much. Abani, they will go as far as saying, grey matter, some of it, into the into fluids, yesha. And then becomes what is now that seed. So now, when you are not spilling all that law, you are you are returning. It's like that snake feeding on its own tail, basically. You are rejuvenating yourself. Yeah, that is why you can contextualize about you are returning a tenth, tenth percent tithe, because that fluid my ear ear nyuk my nyuki buela laika izulwin. That is the your awakening process. But it's it's an entire process. It's, it's not just about you blocking your nuts. It's a, it's a whole process. Like you were saying, you need to live a certain way. Get off the sugar. Um, do not... I know this one normally gets me rebel with people. Do not get your heart too highly elevated. Because most people, most people think, I get my heart elevated, I'm, I'm doing a good... Goo, 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 goo. Your heart, if we were to think um, empirically... You have a certain set of heartbeats. If we ask Gichima those heartbeats, your heart is because it is a it's an it's an organ. So in these systems, Bazoti, get into habits that slow down your heart rate. Sl- yeah, they slow it down. That is why Abandu, when they get into these deep meditative states. Um, I hope I won't get it wrong. Abanyi, there was years ago, it had beat it to a dropper maybe to nine. Nine beats maybe in a minute. Boom. You know? Boom. When they get into that. Um, it's 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 an entire process. That is why Dala Beguba Nama Nain Dao in the mountains or deep in the thing where Abandu who wants to be to live that and have that inner vision they would go but seclude Manja, it's very hard. The hustle and bustle. You, you, you cannot. It's, it's a... That is why India boomed at some point, even today to a certain degree. Remember like this spiritual renaissance that happened in India? Yeah, because people were going to... You get to a place where you are doing nothing else, but you are just looking. And that can take... It can be quick, Kwamanya. It can take them years. Because you are dealing with you. You don't have to, you don't have anyone who's like, yeah, you are Kobela. You are not Kobela. If you are not Kobela, you are dealing with you. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a whole process. It's a whole process. But if you're, it's something you are doing it just for health implications, you most probably can. But please balance it out with the diet because these days are suffering a cry like it. There's also the issue of prostate, prostate cancer. So if you are doing that and your diet is not balanced enough and now your prostate is taking strain, again you're gonna have issues. Yeah, so it's in the it's the food. If you if you sort out the food, then yeah, but it is a thing. It is a thing. Some people rubbish it, 
but the more you get into uh, the the occult philosophies, even my systems eight, my systems and class were a. About it, they would all they would go as far as saying, im impande yen class or ibi vala yuto chakra. Ndi. Even if ngai kaba ngapa down there, it's. <laughs> And then there are other philosophies who, who are like, no, Tina, see, see, that aspect, we use that aspect. It depends which path you are using, the left hand path or the, or the right hand path. But it is a thing, yeah, it is, a, it's an actual thing. When Anji, each Kupiako, according to that path, once a week. But that is not to say, you cannot reach the O. You can reach the O. Hey, we are the little children. <laughs> no, they must learn. It's fine. You can reach the O. But don't don't tell her the seed. And then when my exercises that you do to uh to get the muscles around that area to that space where if you reach lap holes where you bamba the seed. And it also needs a willing partner. <laughs> yeah. And that is the challenge. That is why Abanya will just say, I as in rather. Give value all together because you need a, a partner who's going to understand. Yeah. And unfortunately, sometimes what that be so they take offense when you are doing such things and abuzz. Mm. Even if even if mm. <laughs> it becomes a what are you doing? Why we? What's wrong with me? Why unga? Mm. So it's. But it's a thing. It's a thing. Nyabo am shumail. Job I'm in a song this one for this more fire. Nyabong I'm sure my Luella. It's been great meeting you, my brother. Nyabong I'm sure. Oh, one game in. Bless you. One game in a bit. Magwande, magkanya, maglunga, magpope, magume mocha. See you guys on the next video. Danko.